Hello everyone, my name is Rene, and a lot of you have been asking me about my settings or setup. So because of high demand, uh, and so I can refer back to this video, I made this one. I hope it's helpful in some way. Please take in consideration that this computer is two and a half years old, so do not buy this computer. You would be crazy if you do. If you are looking for a new PC and you want to take my advice, just go to this website below. It's in Dutch, but you can probably read the component names. So next are the computer components I have. I have an i7 3770K a CPU, which is clocked at the moment on 3.5 GHz. I overclocked it a tiny little bit, but it's not really noticeable. I have 16 GB DDR3 RAM. I have an Acer P235H monitor. I have a standard cheap trust keyboard which type nice in the shop. For a long time for as a mouse I had the Logitech MX518 and now I have the Logitech G502. Am I happy with it? Um, sure. Would I buy it again? Probably not because it's a little bit too expensive I think. It's better to buy a nice brandless one in my opinion. I also have a GeForce 670GTX. I have an SSD, SSC partition, I also have DayZ installed in it which reduces the load screens by a big amount and uh, I also have 2TB uh, of hard disk space for uh, to save my recordings on. So let's move on to the settings. I move my settings around quite a bit, I don't uh, copy it but just try to understand the settings of DayZ, I think that's most important. So at the first screen of DayZ you will uh, find the volume, the game settings and stuff like that. Uh, just make sure to put the VoIP up all the way so you can hear people better. I think that's the most important one. For the next screen you want to basically avoid clicking on default. That's the main thing, avoid clicking on default and have VSync disabled. It will increase your FPS immensely. In my opinion this is the most important screen, the quality settings. So in cities you want to have object detail on very low. But at the moment outside of cities you can just leave it to high. You can always leave it to very low, but the downside of that is that you cannot see players after 300 meters or something. You can see them with scope, but not with your bare eyes. I usually have the, sh the clouds and the shadows too high, but if you're struggling for FPS just turn them both off. The shadows uh, make the game look nicer though, so if you, uh, if you can push it, at least put it to very low. I think it, the game looks much nicer with shadows on. At the rendering settings I have anti-aliasing to put to high, but if you're struggling for FPS just turn it off. It makes the game look very nice though with high and it gives you a relaxed view because if you look in the distance with anti-aliasing up, you can see everything flickering and stuff and that's not very nice. I have alpha to coverage to all trees, uh, that's what I, um, I currently like. For edge mooding I have it set to FXX, FXAA very high. I don't know the exact details but uh, uh, you need edge mooding because it also helps together with the anti-aliasing to reduce flickering in the distance. HDR quality you can put to very low, it doesn't have a big difference. Uh, currently I have uh, post processing to high. This means you can also set the uh, bloom as you can see but I like bloom on the lowest setting anyway. Um, post processing actually makes the edges of your screen blurry if you are uh, running for example or if you are zoomed in or if you are um, not healthy. As you see in game I've been shot here uh, recently and it means that uh, with the post processing on I can see my health so the screen is blurry at the moment. But you can actually turn it off by uh, going your settings at the moment and just click on video uh, in your uh, inventory screen like I do right now. So now you basically have turned it off. If we go back to the texture menu for a second, uh, you have the video memory, just put that on auto and uh, put the rest to high. You can probably alter these but I don't think it makes a lot of difference FPS wise. Here are a couple of clips of me running to, towards Cherno and also outside in the fields with my FPS.
So uh, I'm running into Turner right now and when I look away from Turner I have 30 is FPS. In the field I have like 40 FPS but uh, in the town I have as low as 23 to 25 FPS. If you after lowering all these settings are still struggling with a low FPS and want to higher it a bit, you can go to documents on your PC or my documents depending on what operating system you have and you can uh, open the daisy folder in there and there is a file which has your name dot daisy profile so you, your account name probably dot daisy profile if you scroll all the way down you will find a couple of settings um, imported are shadow distance you can put it down as 250 for example uh, the water will look uglier the shadows will obviously won't show after 50 meters but you might actually get an FPS improvement from that the next settings are view distance and preferred object view distance I do not know exactly what the default values are but I think it's like 2600 I at the moment I have them put to 1300 uh, you can even put them down to 1000 and if you want to put them lower than 1000 you can actually um, gain FPS but you you actually you know for example if I look to those uh, apartment flats to my left right now I would probably not see them because they won't even render in it will increase your fps though i've seen people playing with it and they could not see the other side of the northwest airfield for example anyway i hope you all like this guide if you still have any questions please let me know in the comments uh, so i maybe can make some sort of updated version if that is necessary i hope you all enjoyed this video and i see you all in the next one cheers